<laughs> two very smiley laughing men. Yeah, always. New kit there, what do you think? I really like it, I really do. Um, I think it looks smart. The hoops is obviously different to what we had last year and yeah, I really like it. Big fan of the goalie shirts, um, same as last year. I thought they were they were really good last year. For me, purple is just about my favourite, but um, yeah, I really like them both and uh, yeah, I think they um, produced some good kits this year. No spoilers, what's your favourite out of the three? The away. Do we know what the away is? You've yeah. seen them, haven't you? Am I allowed to say? <clears throat> yeah, no, don't say what they look like. But oh, right, right. What's your favourite? Um, the third goalie shirt. Out of all six. Oh. Out, out of all six, the third goalie shirt is, is big, good. Big one. call. Have you seen I it? haven't seen the third goalie shirt, actually. Oh. But I've seen the away. Oh, you are going to love it, my friend. You know what? I do like all three, to be honest. I do. Um, but yeah, away just tops it for me. An upgrade on last year, pound for pound? Pound for pound, yes. Um, I did like last year's third kit. But yeah, pound for pound, yeah, this year I think beats it. In the Bradford City store, had a, a couple of chats with a couple of chickens, I'm led to believe. Yeah, um, sold so many shirts in here. Just um, just spreading the, spreading the good word. Um, I think we did a good job in here. Um, there's a, there's a few rascal shirts over there that Eastie wanted to model, but they wouldn't let him. So um, I've still got the tag in this shirt here as well. I've got to give this back. Um, but we've had we've had a bit of fun, and uh, hopefully we've put a few smiles on a few faces. Yeah, I really like the hat, the bucket hat. Um, I'm hoping to take it to Spain with me. Can uh, you go go grab it for us and, and show us where it looks? Oh, just, got, I think it's just here. I prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think? It's giving festival vibes. On a golf course, does this work? With your golf swing, absolutely. Fantastic. That's all I need to know. Park life has, has been and gone, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a yeah, shame. But, yeah, Plenty yeah, more to come. Yeah, but Bingley Weekender hasn't. <laughs> Keep getting adverts for Bingley Weekender. I don't. Any tickets going? You can wear the shirt and EC will wear the hat. Yeah. My head's too big for that hat. You look good in it. Yeah, that's fine. That what, works. What has been your highlight today in terms of people you've met and, and what you've seen in the shop? Somebody asked me to take a photo of them, front and back. Um, weren't interested in a photo with me, they just wanted me to take a photo of them and that was that brought me down a few pegs which I probably needed. <laughs> I was having too much fun. <laughs> and, uh, Tumbling. A tattoo. That is the highlight. The, the real highlight of the day of course is uh, the fella that's got a tattoo on his ankle that says Super Harry Lewis in goal and to see that in the flesh was, was quite surreal really. Um, I asked him if he wants a contribution towards getting it removed uh, and he said no, he's keeping it forever. So good for him. Uh, good for good for the club, I guess. Yeah, good for the club. Anyone got any Ryan East tattoos on ankles or other non-descript parts of the body? Unfortunately, other than not. Harry Lewis. <laughs> well, I was going to get he one. Did get one in Portugal, but no, there was none in the shop today. No. We went to Portugal. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we did go with Banksy and Youngie. Um, yeah. Obviously, Banksy being the former chicken. Uh, we played a scramble out there, a four-man scramble. And we finished one under, so it was a good achievement for the boys. We we went to Portugal to, to drink, but there was some golf there as well. I was more concerned with drinking, obviously, um, in moderation, enjoy responsibly. Um, but no, we uh, <laughs> we had a good time, and it was nice to switch off as well, like all be together and, and put the ball away for a little bit. It was uh, it was nice. Yeah, we literally went as soon as the season finished. A couple of like yeah, you know, last minute trip kind sunsets of sunsets, holding hands down the beach and stuff. Me and East, it was it was nice. Quiet. Yeah, yeah, that, that was all I really wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was good standard. If anyone was hacking it, <laughs> it's probably uh... <laughs> probably the one in the purple shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Goldie toes over here was hacking it. <laughs> but I was the best drinker, so that that's the most important thing anyway. How has pre-season been so far? <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> Broken him. No, you can't bring that up in Sorry. <laughs> why, why, why are you going ready? <laughs> what are you going red for? No, don't worry, don't worry. Pre season so far has been a been tough. Um yeah, we come back for testing last week and that actually turns out to be easier than the the three days we've just done there. We was in the pool today. Felt like I was gonna drown. Um <laughs> <laughs> he, what, he used to be swimming technique, he was like a little tadpole in there. That's a good thing, but <laughs> that's a good is that, thing. Is that a height job? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I got too much respect. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> is that a height joke? <laughs> <laughs>
Um, but no, like I think I think you split pre-season into sort of two blocks really. Your first two weeks are about fitness and more of the physical side of things, and the last two weeks are a bit more sort of getting ready for the season, fine-tuning things, a few more friendlies and, and a few good tests as well. You yeah. know, out in Spain, Getafe mm-hmm. as well is a big test. So yeah. Um, yeah, we should be. I think we we started off on a good point, and um, we're uh, there's some fit lads in the squad as well, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, look forward to Saturday, 45 minutes hopefully. Um, and yeah, we've got high quality games, so we'll be a good test before the season starts. Get the shirt on for the first time on Saturday at Bury. Looking forward to that, should be a good occasion, football wise as well, with the, the situation there yeah. and first game back at Eagle Lane. Yeah, uh, sold out, which is for a pre season game is massive, isn't it? Um, it's good for them, it's good for us to get minutes in the legs, and uh, yeah, really look forward to it. Yeah, it's a it's a proper football club, Bury, isn't it? It's a, it's a football league club, obviously, they're not there right now, but. You know, fans of football, it's, it's nice to see them getting their club back, really, being back sort of at the stadium where they belong. And it's nice to be there for that occasion. And um, and hopefully there'll be a nice atmosphere. And hopefully the Bradford fans are looking forward to seeing us back in action as well. And, uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a good day. And um, the lads get what we need to out of the game, fitness-wise and everything. But, um, yeah, it's nice. Nice to be back out there. Nice to be back playing games of football. Have you had word on whether it's purple or blue yet on Saturday? I've told Mark, as I will be telling him every week this season, that I want to be the purple. Um, failing Can that we I'll... clarify, club secretary, not first team manager? So, <laughs> you, you're never, not telling I the would manager. I never call him Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I've told club secretary Mark Harrison that uh, I would prefer to wear the purple as often as possible this season because it is my favourite. But as always, as you guys know, I do as I'm told. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Is he a little bit too excited? Who, hey, Lewis? Always. Always. So excited. Can't wait for it, can he? Can't wait for Spain with this guy. Yeah, Spain's going to be good. Sharing a room, hopefully. Spain's going to be good. Yeah. Just be good for team bonding, wouldn't it? All round. Maybe a night out or something. (laughs) What else can we look forward to in Spain? What what are you really looking forward to in Spain? What will happen in Spain? (laughs) Um... Just hard work, hard graft, uh, just team bonding really, that's the main the main objective isn't it, of the trip, make sure we get fit and come back hopefully all in good spirits. Is it the main objective? Um, there's a little coffee shop called El Horno <laughs> that I went to with Jamie Walker last time we went and I can't wait to go there again to be honest. I'm looking forward to working hard but um, there's, a, there's a lovely coffee shop that does a little cake and a pastry and stuff so uh, Certain afternoon, you'll probably see me and me and walks in there. Just you two. It's, it's oh, it's an coffee, open coffee club. Doesn't transcend overseas. Just the two it, of you, excluding everybody else. It would how, be, do you, how do you feel about that first? Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? Because we have a coffee club here. I, and I believe abroad, you, you two were the founding members. You, or we're part of. The we are founding members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Founding, yeah. We're, founding we're, members, yeah. We're on the committee. So, <clears throat> as uh, tomorrow will be the inaugural coffee club of the season. Uh, there'll be an invite going out in the group chat. All are welcome, obviously. And mm-hmm. it would be nice to draft in a few new members, a few new faces. Yeah. We lost a couple throughout the course of last season. Yeah, we did. In the summer, we lost. Banksy. It would be. Uh, it would be nice to to recruit. So yeah. you know, we'll sit down as a committee and um, we'll interview the lads, see who's uh, who makes the cut, and. Um, yeah. Yeah, go from there. Yeah. Is it, uh, when you talk about recruitment, you have to look at the character, you know, the, lots of different facets towards recruiting the, the right the right people as we, part we, of Coffee Club? We've got a very strict recruitment process, you know, um, we don't want any bad eggs in there, we don't want any poison <laughs> in there, you know. <laughs> it, is, it, it is really important. You've, it is. You've, you've got to fit in. Because it's an hour and a half. What, what might happen if you do recruit, say, the, bad, the, work, the wrong person? We well, just don't want to become toxic. <laughs> 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 Listen, look, there's a lot of a lot of factors to consider. You've got to consider logis- logistics. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. want to be too far away. You know, I don't want people that are going to show up one week and not the next. I want yeah. consistency. I want a bit of. There's, there's been a yeah. bit of uproar with one of the founder members not attending the first week because he's got a haircut. Don't really like to see that energy. Surely a fine. One. Surely a couple of spins. He I, shouldn't even be going for a haircut as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not got many haircuts left. I'll not say who it is. Are we narrowing this down? He's not got many haircuts left. <laughs> if you look at the top of his skull, he's got. Go on. Who is it? Who is it? He may or may not have the same hair colour as Paul Scholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ethan knew it. Um, yeah, knew it yeah. But yeah, he's he's having a haircut for some reason, um, and he won't Pretty be attending. Pretty Spain. So uh, yeah, he wants to look good for when you guys are getting photos of him working yeah. really hard. One may suggest he's booked it. On coffee club time, intentionally, and you've got Friday, Saturday before spring, and 
that's this what really it. hurts. This is it. Yeah. yeah, that's what really hurts. To be honest, you know. I think he's avoiding the wheel. I described him as a senior member of Coffee Club. Would you go with that? He's, yeah, he's consistent. He is, yeah, 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 he's, yeah. he's an adult, and um, <laughs> for him to not for him to not attend on week one, um, yeah, yeah, it leaves a sour taste in the mouth. It does yeah, doesn't it? it? Does make you question his loyalty? Yeah. And you know, as a committee, we're going to have to sit down and think about his future. Mm-hmm. You two speak quite passionately about Coffee Club, as though it's a real big part of your life. Is there a coffee club captain? Is there a senior sort of committee for the coffee club? We have got, um, if I'm honest, I would say H is the captain. We have got a... How mu- sorry, how much of an honour, first of all, is that? To wear, to wear the coffee club armband. I wore the armband uh, for the last 10 minutes of the Colchester game, but hearing that I am officially the captain of the coffee club is the biggest honour you could bestow upon a man, I think. Mm-hmm. I think. You know, I could be wrong, yeah, it's up there, yeah. but um, that feels good. Having having dragged mm. Coffee Club from my former club and started a new one here, that feels good. But I, I would consider myself part of a committee. You know, I, I am a founder member, but I am one of three, found, four founder yeah, members. Yeah, four, yeah. Four Young, is a massive part. He spins the wheel every week, yeah. see who gets the bill. So he plays an important role. Yeah, yeah. How big can Coffee Club become? How how, how big are you wanting to grow it? <laughs> For me, there's, there's no limits on it, is there? Yeah. <laughs> These are early days of Coffee Club. This is this is this is the founding. You know, this is only our second se- second season, mate. Yeah. You know, some teams have kicked on second season, but unfortunately, some teams go under. Second yeah. season syndrome. We've seen that in the Premier League and and other leagues in the past. We're gonna have to be What's on. What's happening here, man? <laughs> we don't do serious interviews when we, I'm in we behind the camera. A home sh- shirt <laughs> interview <laughs> into a discussion about Coffee Club while Easty is wearing. A bucket hat. This is a feature length film. Bradford at this point. City floral bucket hat. <laughs> Lads, I think we'll have to call it there. You know yeah. what? It's been fantastic. It's been really pleasure. enjoyed it. Final words? Uh, appreciate um, having us back on onto the uh, camera and yeah, look forward to the season. There'll be a podcast soon. Oh, just, that's a good shout, you know. know you too. I would like to host it if possible. That'd As captain shot. of Coffee Club now, I would like to host it. I'd enjoy that. I would. Watch this space. Yeah. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. And you. All the best for the rest of the season. <laughs> <laughs>